everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I've got part 4 on how to make a Discord uh, chatbot. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a command to clear all of the messages in the channel um, with some options. So you can either delete just the bot messages or you can delete um, certain things like the messages which were triggered for the bot and things like that. Um, and also, depending on how time goes, uh, we'll, we'll use. Um, a few more little commands to show some information about the server and so on. And um, so what we're going to do is, there's two ways to do it. Uh, essentially, you can just have a double command, so you can input like a number of messages you want to delete, or we can go down in the single commands, which is just here, and we'll create it here. And we'll say case clear, just like that. And then what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we need to get the messages. So we're going to say dim messages as an array because obviously there's going to be multiple and it's going to be as a discord uh, dot message and it's going to be equal to the message that's incoming dot server um, what's happened here not even the server we'll take the channel and we can say dot download messages and I think 100 is the limit because I've tried um, with, with more and it doesn't work um, I think 100 is the limit so let's say you've got more than 100 that you want to delete you can do this process like more than once so you could do download it once delete all those download 100 again and so on um, but we're getting an error here and that's because um, we need to write here a wait and I probably should have shown you this at at first because what's going to happen now now you've placed the await in we're going to have to make our on message function a async just like that and now because we've done that this should fix itself but now all of these have got an error so all we need to go and do is um, put an await before all of it just like that now you might think it's pretty lengthy but it's, you can just copy await and just paste it in and um, it really isn't a big deal and it is actually better to have this in because you are actually waiting for it to do its thing properly so we'll just paste that in a few times I think that's all we have um, could be wrong though no that is all we have so you just want to go ahead and do that it shouldn't take you too long and then go back to where we was which was just here so now we've got our array of messages instead of well we could just go ahead and say um, for we'll have a for loop we can say for each we'll call it mess as uh, discord dot message in messages so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through every message in this array so there should be a hundred messages now what you could do is you could just say await mess dot delete and what that's going to do is it's going to loop through the array and delete every single message in there and that is if you wanted to clear all 100 uh, and we could do that it's perfectly fine what you could do is have an if check and we can say if mess uh, we can check the user dot name and we can either write the name out in a string or we could just say uh, discord dot current user dot name just like that then what we can do await uh, mess dot delete now what that code is going to do is just delete all the messages which were sent from the current user which is the bot and that's how you delete all the bot messages and what you can have is um, another else if inside here and just say um, if mess dot raw text dot starts with and if it starts with the trigger then we'll go ahead and we'll delete that as well mess dot delete and now what we're going to have is a little function which I can go ahead and do we'll, we'll launch it up wait for us to get connected and if we go in the channel uh, this is my little channel which everyone joins if you want to join it the link will be in the description um, so I'll just type in a few commands you can see and then what I'll do is I'll type clear and you can see it's well keep saying we're typing and we're because we had the um, uh, what do you call it we made in the previous tutorials we had some functions uh, on typing and on deleted and stuff 
So that's why, but if you didn't have these functions then you wouldn't see that mess um, there. So that is how you delete messages. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and close that. And I'll quickly show you how to get some information um, about the server. So we'll make another case and we'll call it uh, server. And then you can say message dot channel dot send message uh, and we'll send um, we'll say server name and what you can do is you can just type plus uh, message dot server dot name that was pretty easy and then you can type vb new lines create a new line and pretty much repeat this process I'll copy that put it here um, instead of the server name we'll say um, use account and what we can type in here is message dot server dot and then in here somewhere there should be something called the use account just like that now that's going to be an integer so it might have trouble converting to a string so what we can do is just say CSTR use that function and wrap it around just like that and then we should be fine and then that is how to get the user count and then we'll do one more uh, we'll just take this again and place it on the end of here and we'll say uh, roll count and again we'll keep it uh, we'll use the CSDR function again because um, we'll, instead of using that we're going to use roll count just like that which is also an integer so we'll leave that and what's the problem here? Oh, I guess we've got to type await and then we should be good. So if you want to launch that up, wait for that to uh, sort itself out and we'll just type server and see we got the server name, the amount of users in the server which is correct 28 plus 5 and then two roles uh, which I made. So there's that. That's just a few. Now if you type server message dot server dot uh, you will see a whole lot of more things you can show you can get the server region the I think I even see the port and the host name in there somewhere um, so that's that another thing you can do is have another uh, command about info um, I won't make it but you can just say message dot uh, we could say probably channel dot find users and then we get let's say my the username which mine is mr mark 4g3 say dot and you can grab uh, what do we need to do with you to fight first or default dot and we can get information about this user so we can get their permissions uh, you can get their roles, you can take roles from them, um, things like that. So you can, this is how you can uh, interact with certain users through commands, um, just like that. So that's another little thing you can look forward to. Um, so that's all I'm going to show you for this video. Um, I hope you found it useful, especially the clear command. It's very useful once your bot clusters up the chat and stuff, and you want to get rid of the messages. Um, so yeah, if you did like the video. Um, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.